my name is John. Welcome to another SMC technical training video. In this video, we will show you how to set the IP address on an Ethernet IP EX600 using DIP switches or the boot P configuration tool. During the video, we will show you the software, the equipment, and the steps required. In the end, we will have the IP network address set and we'll be able to confirm it. Let's get started. You'll need a PC, software, and Ethernet connectivity to the PLC to complete this configuration. Please refer to our earlier video for the EX600 hardware layout and setup. Now let's set up the EX600 for the PLC. First, run and install the EDS file for the EX600. Check the video page for more details. You can choose manual or software IP address setup. Let's set it manually. Remove power from the EX600, then remove the display cover. Set the IP address manually with a flat screwdriver using the switches. Make note of the MAC address for future use. Use this guide for switch settings. Manual addresses can be from 1 to 254 on networks 192.168.0 and 192.168.1, which is free to be set by the user as long as it's not already been assigned. Once the new address is set, reattach the display cover. Reapply power to lock in the IP address. We need to set the node status for the PC. To get this connected, we can set the computer address. So you're declaring 192.168.0 as our network, giving us our addresses between 0 and 255. Right now, we've selected 101 as the address for our computer. The mask is 255.255.255.0. With the PLC IP address already set and all network nodes connected, we can now verify the EX600 status with RS links. When we go back into RS links, you notice that our computer is on the network. We can see the PLC at 192.168.099 and the EX600 at 192.168.041. As an option, let's set the address remotely. Remove power from EX600, then remove the display cover. This time, set to DHCP mode, or 255 on the network. Then apply power for 15 seconds, then remove power. Then set to remote control mode or 000. Now that we have set the EX600 for remote control mode, we can use the DHCP server to set our address. Pull up the boot P server and wait for our MAC ID to come up. And there it is. Click on the MAC address. We're going to set the address to 40. Host name and description are optional, so we'll leave those off. Now, highlight and click on the MAC and IP address under Relation List. It should sync up and then reappear under Request History. Click on the Disable Boot P DHCP button. If unsuccessful, repeat this after cycling the power. We again want to make sure that all IP addresses are set. Start RS links and it will ping the EX600 and other nodes to make sure everything is running well. Everything looks good, so we're ready for the next step. We hope you found this video useful. Look for our next serial interface video where we will show you how to map the data between the PLC and the EX600 so that the PLC will be able to control the valves. 